What's going on my YouTube friends and family? We're back and today I'm going to be reacting to the new SML movie, Mr. Poorman. Now, not sure what to expect, but obviously, judging by the title and the thumbnail, looks like Goodman is going to become poor once again. Now, this is actually the, I think the third time this has actually happened to Goodman. Hopefully, it's going to be quite funny. But before we even get into this video, I have somebody on the phone with me who's going to be doing the reaction with me. And I think you might know him, but I'm here with one of my subscribers, King Simba 36 Yo, what's up, y'all? And so every time I pause the video, he's going to make a comment about the video that we see together. But anyway, if you guys want to watch the original video, the link will be down in the description below. Make sure you guys go and subscribe to the original SML channel. And don't forget to follow my Instagram, which is in the link in the description below. And to confirm that you really watched this video all the way from beginning to end, make sure you comment five thumbs up emojis. But with that being said, let's begin. Up your SpongeBob book, Jeffy. Look and see for yourself. Notice anything wrong with it? Uh, no. They're not underwater. No. SpongeBob has two tongues. He's got one down here Wait, and one what? up here. Huh. Yeah, that actually is true. I just noticed that. He does make a good point. Like, oh my god. Like, why do people who make that make these books do that sometimes? Like, they think the yeah. kids aren't gonna notice, but in reality, they will. It's not that serious, right? Well, no. Wait, Jesus Christ. So what did they make a tiny mistake? You're going to try to sue the whole company just for that? Like, bro, stop. Yeah, like, that makes no sense. There's someone at the door. Hello? Hey, Marvin, I need your help. Uh -oh. We need help with Goodman. You're poor, right? Yeah. What? Well, I need you to teach me how to be poor. Teach how to be Why? poor. Why? Well, I just found out that I have another kid down in Mexico or some shit, uh and the mom's wanting me to pay her $5 million a month. Child support. I Bro, so you're telling me this whole video is about giving being poor just so we can get out of paying for child support? Bro, how? Hey. You are so freaking petty. You're the richest guy on the planet. Share money with the public. Bro. Mm, nice like yeah, exactly. Hold on. Some shit. And the mom's wanting me to pay her $5 million a month in child support. I didn't know Taco Bell was that expensive. <laughs> So what I did was, is I moved all my money to an offshore bank account, and then now I have to live off the least amount of money as possible for the next few months, while the judge goes through my bank accounts, because I don't want him to see that I have a lot of money. So Bruh. I need your help to teach me how to be poor. Well, I mean, I'm really busy. I don't think I can do that right now. What are you busy? $10,000. Oh, shit. Say less. For $10,000, I'll teach you how to be poor, the poor is late. Better yet, I'll teach you how to be a homeless man. You have anything to say about that so far? Money is the power is all I have to say. Facts. I hope you guys can hear Simba very well, but if not, you might have to talk a little louder so they can hear you if they can't hear you. I mean, sure, yeah. I can teach you how to be poor. So rule number one, don't give people money because poor people can't afford to give people money. Facts. If I don't give you money, then how am I going to get you to do what I want you to do? By being nice. Ew, poor! <laughs> and uh, the, the next rule is, come here. So another thing you can do to be more poor is not drive a Lamborghini. Yeah. Not drive a Lamborghini? What else am I supposed to drive? Normal a cars? Bicycle? Ew! Yes. No, no, you don't have to drive a bicycle. You can drive a car. You just need something more poor. Hmm. More poor? I know exactly what you mean. I'm gonna go buy one. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Let's see what he whips up in. What the? What the? Bruh! That's not even close to poor! Oh my god. Bruh. What? What kind of car is this? Is this another Lamborghini or I have no idea. Nope. No. 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 Fuck out of here. All right, Marvin. I did what you said. I bought a poor car. This is not a poor car. This is expensive. It literally has the word poor in the name. It's a Porsche. What? It's still. Bruh. What a weak ass pun. He literally bought a Porsche. Bruh. 
Expensive, though. Listen, Marvin, I can't go any lower than this. It's already shitty. What? It's not a shitty car. This is really nice. No, it is shitty. It's poor. It's poor shitty. And it's <laughs> expensive because it was named after George Bush. George Bush. It's a Porsche 911. Uh, <sighs> okay, fine. So. Did they just put another 911 joke in there? Bro, he said a Porsche 911. Really? Mr. Goodman should get sued for that one. He really should. Exactly. You're saying this is the cheapest car you'll go. Yeah, I can't do anything less than this, Marvin. It's shitty. <sighs> okay, well, at least it's a start. You got rid of the Lamborghini. So let's go work on some other stuff. All right. Hey, baby, I need your help. What's wrong, Marvin? Well, Goodman paid us $10,000 to teach him how to be poor. Wait, he spent $10,000 to learn how to be poor? Yeah, I already told him that poor people can't hand out money. Okay, good. And I told him that poor people can't drive a Lamborghini. Okay. So what other things can we teach him to be poor? Well, poor people don't walk around everywhere in a nice suit, so you... True, so you might uh, strip down and get naked. <laughs> let me stop, let me stop. <laughs> yeah, pause on that, pause. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're going to cut that part out. No, we're not. You're going to have to change your clothes. You want me to get rid of my elephant asshole suit? 75 endangered African elephants were poached for their assholes to make this suit. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Really? <laughs> I forgot they even made that joke. Bruh. This suit cost me $55 million. Did I take a bath in it? I sleep in it? I'm not getting rid of this. Eh? Why don't you sell it if you need the money? Sell it? I will never sell the suit. I will be buried in this suit. Well, how about Bruh. you just take it off? Because if the judge sees you walking around in a $55 million suit, he's going to make you pay child support. Yep. You're right. So what am I supposed to wear to be poor? All right, look, I'll pick out a poor outfit. Come on. Alright, baby, I picked out an outfit for him. Bro, why does that look like he's something wearing out of the 1990s? Bro, this is not a freaking farm, Mario. Exactly, it looks like he was one of the passing. Huh, why does he look a little bit like Jack off the movie Titanic? You're right, he does. Yeah, he has the overalls and everything. <laughs> Roasted. I look like old McDonald without his farm. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> For real! For real! No, I think you look nice. E I E I no I don't. I look like I <laughs> smell bad. If a kid said, hey dad, does that man smell bad? He's gonna say, yes. Yes, he does. Stay away from him. He's stinky. My name's Mr. Goodman, not Mr. Goodwill. Well, Goodwill, where did you get this outfit from? <laughs> and it smells like the person who owned it before me shit my pants. Well, it Ew. only costs five dollars. Well, I would pay five dollars not. What type of outfit are you shopping for that goes for $5? No store does that. No. Unless you're buying from a homeless man. Yeah, it's too bad. to wear this. Well, look, when the judge sees you wearing this, he's not going to make you pay child support. Yeah, you're right. He's probably going to feel bad for me and make the woman pay me child support. Well, that's what Bruh. we're going for, right? Oh, I guess. Oh, I'm getting kind of hungry. I want a filet mignon. I think I'm gonna have chives prepare my meal. Oh, chives! That's another thing. You can't have a butler and you can't eat rich food, motherfucker. Exactly. Chives! Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. All right, sir. Here is your eight ounce for me. cooked medium rare. Are you sure it's eight ounces? Because it looks more like seven. I can assure Huh? I said, that is meat, though. I can't even lie. Yeah, like. Wait, 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 wait. The meat looks like a literal hockey puck. <laughs> true actually it actually does look like a hockey puck but more thicker just like my ex ha! <laughs> anyway let's move on i assure you that it's eight sir i weighed it before i cooked it let's see about that sounds like seven well sir when you cook meat it doesn't maintain whoa 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 i'm not listening bruh chives did you take a bite out of my carrot it was more of a nibble sir what is that chives a nibbled carrot sir you nibbled my carrot but i'm not my Bro, it's not that serious, it's just a carrot, it's just a side piece anyway. Just like my ex. Ha! No. <laughs> but I had to make sure that it was cooked thoroughly. Well, next time, eat the f***ing thing! Get out of here, buddy! <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Damn. Before I care, I must ask. Why are you dressed like a fun? I was just about to say, is Chive not going to compliment his outfit? You got something? Real. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ask Marvin. Goodman wants to act poor for a few months. Ha! Good luck with that! Well, Goodman, you can't eat all this. Yes, I can. I'm a growing boy. Well, no, no, I meant like... 
mean growing man. Exactly. You're already, you're already finished with the process. Yeah. People don't eat this kind of food. You're telling me poor people don't eat filet mignon? No! No. I'm gonna starve! What am I supposed to eat then? Well, look, I will go cook you a meal that poor people eat. Do not eat this because if you want to look good for the judge, do not eat food like this. Hold on. <sighs> All right, good man, I made you dinner. Are you eating your steak? No, it was a flop. <laughs> Wait, what? There's no way a fly took that big a bite. Yes, he did. He was a big old bastard. Listen, good Bruh. man. Here's your ramen noodles. What? That's not insane. That's... Huh, first of all, that thing doesn't look like it even has season. And why is the pack right there? And why is this one not even cooked? That's crunchy. It'll be crunchy as hell. Man, who eats ramen like that? N not me. Yeah, Instant ramen. Yeah, like, I'll bet you I think he got Chef Pee Pee to help him, but to be honest, if Chef Pee Pee helped him, it would have been more burnt. Yeah. yeah. Lunch? Ew, poor, what is this? It's called ramen noodles, and it's really cheap, but it's really good. Who's ramen, and why do I have to eat his noodles? Hey, yo! <laughs> he said, who's ramen, and why do I have to eat his noodles? Bruh, I'm dead. Because it's really cheap, and it's really good. Try it. And what is this? A Rice crispy Treat? <laughs> no, that's what the noodles look like. Rice Krispie Treat. I'm done. <laughs> that actually... Now that he pointed it out, it actually kind of looks like a Rice crispy Treat from a far distance. For real. It's like before you cook it. It looks like dried worms. Ew! You're trying to poison me! Help! Help! <laughs> he asking for help. You're literally paying him. serious. Yeah, you're literally teaching, you're literally having, oh, you're, I can't talk today. You're literally paying him to teach you how to be poor. Now that you're not trying to be poor, you're trying to scream for help. Help, mom, mom. <laughs> My go, go back home then. Exactly. Child, he's trying to poison me. What's going on, sir? He's trying to make me eat Roman's noodles. Hey, yo. That's what I had for lunch today, sir. Oh, no. Somebody call poison control. Child, this is it said poison control. I'm finished. Like a freaking sissy, man. It's not that serious. Facts! It's, it's actually pretty good, sir. Especially the way when you season it. You just need a little bit of adobo, sazon, and boom. You have yourself some good-ass ramen noodles. Oh, no! The worms must be eating your brain and making you delusional! Help! <laughs> listen, listen, everyone eats ramen noodles. It's really good. And look, you can't keep calling your butler because poor people don't have butlers. Well, if I can't call my butler, then who's going to wipe my ass? Hey yo! Ew, my hand has gotta go near my ass. Oh, what'd you say? Thank you! I scrapped poor! Listen, poor people wipe their own butt, so tell your butler you'll see him in a few months. <sighs> Chives, go to your room in the basement and I'll be home in a few months. Are you gonna pay me while you're gone? Very well, sir. Exactly, and he literally shits and pits in a litter box. Bro, he's not a cat. <laughs> Thank you. Ramen, what's with all the screaming? He's trying to feed me worms. Ooh, ramen? How does everyone know who ramen is in his worms? Hey, yo. Well, I hate being poor. I can't drive my Lamborghini. I have to dress like Ronald McDonald. I have to eat ramen's worms. And what's next? You're going to tell me I have to wash my own clothes? Yes, on a laundry mat? Yeah. Ah, I gotta go lay down. Oh, Hold on, pause it. This literal point of being poor? Exactly! Like, if you don't want to be poor, then pay child support. Hey, that actually kind of rhymed a little bit, not gonna lie. Got something else to say? No, Goodman. <laughs> yeah, you're getting pissed off. Yeah, me too. Oh, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this. Come on, Goodman. You can do this. Don't call me Goodman. Call me Poor Man because that's what I am. Well, ah, you can't do he this set the title of the video. Five million a month in child support. I'm not paying her five million dollars a month. That kid's not worth it. That's a lot of money, Marvin. You should out or use protection, you fucking idiot. Exactly. Or when she was pregnant, you should have gotten the... I don't even know if I'm allowed to say the word, but just in case, abortion. 
Yeah. Well, if you don't want to pay it, then you got to learn how to be poor. <sighs> All right. I guess you're right, Marvin. Just go give me some water and let me clear my head. Uh, uh, Voss water. Sparkling, please. No. Poor people don't drink sparkling Voss water. Fiji? No. Evian? No. no. Drink water from the sink. Ah! Okay, not from the sink. That's a homeless person's job. Bro. Yeah, like... My sister doesn't even drink sink water because she thinks that's disgusting. I would rather drink a bottle of water from a grocery store. Like where the toilet is? Or the kitchen sink. Yeah, it's all the same shit. It's pipes in the house. <laughs> it's the way he's water. shaking. Oh, I'm tapping out. Well, listen. You got to <laughs> drink stuff like that if you want to be poor. Well, what's other stuff they can do to save money? Well, what do you spend most of your money on? Well, my haircut costs $20,000. Damn. What type of barber are you going to? What's up? It doesn't even look like you get haircuts. Look like your head's about to be turned into a sheep. Freaking wool. Exactly. Why is that haircut twenty thousand dollars? Because three naked girls cut my hair while giving me pina coladas. Well, we're not doing that anymore. You're yeah, that actually does explain it. Haircut should only cost. Hell, I need to go to his house to get haircuts. <laughs> Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars? They're gonna stab me in the eye with scissors or something. That doesn't usually happen. Uh, what else do you spend your money on? Well, I did put a two hundred fifty thousand dollar down payment to go see the Titanic in a submarine, but that guy hasn't called me back. Oh yeah, that actually is true. For the uh, for the ones who don't know, a few days ago there was a submarine that went. Hold on. There's a submarine that takes tourists to go see the wreckage of the RMS Titanic in the North Atlantic Ocean, but apparently the submarine went missing, and they were supposed to have four days, at least less than four days, to find the five people trapped inside the submarine. Otherwise, they'll run out of oxygen and die. And I'm pretty sure it's been past more than four days, so I wonder if they actually got found yet. Yeah. I think he's ignoring me. Okay, look, you can't buy stupid stuff like that. And if you're going to buy stuff, you have to go cheap. Oh, so you're telling me not to take my big private jet, I gotta take my little one. No, no <laughs> private jet. Private jet at all. Ex For real, like, poor people don't have jets. Poor people don't have private jets. Well, then how am I supposed to fly to Paris for lunch? You're not gonna fly to Paris for lunch, and if you have to fly, you're gonna fly cheap, like Spirit Airlines. Cheap? I'm not gonna fly cheap when I'm flying through the air. <laughs> Spirit Airlines is a nice airline. Well, if I fly Spirit Airlines, I'm going to turn into a spirit. Listen, just what you got to do to be poor. Wait, my phone's ringing. Uh-oh. It's my son Richard calling. Hello? Hey, Dad. Me and my friends what? are down here in Orlando trying to... Your friend is Mickey Mouse? Why is he pissed off? Hold on, what'd you say? He has Mickey Mouse and looks like he's tied up, man. What the hell? Yeah, it looks like he might be pissed off at Richard. Disney World for the day, and they're telling me- Lucky ass! Oh yeah, I'm going there in uh, about two months. It's gonna be so fun. Oh yeah, my friend Simba here is actually gonna go to Disney World for like, uh, in about two months, and I think in August, right? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> that costs four million dollars, but my credit limit's only three million. So can you give me the other- Lucky! I wish I was Goodman's kid! Uh, hold on. Let me go back to make sure we actually heard that correct. Hey, Dad. Me and my friends are down here in Orlando trying to rent out Disney World for the day. Rent out Disney World for the day? Oh, uh, if you're actually able to do that, then you're the luckiest kid on Earth. I just live in Disney World. Lucky! Nah. I wish I was rich. And they're telling me that costs $4 million. But my credit limit's only $3 million. So can you give me the other million? Hold on, Richard. My son, he's in trouble. He's down in Orlando trying to rent out Disney World for the day, and they told him that it's going to be $4 million, and his credit limit's only $3 million. So do I give him the other million? No! But he'll yell at me. Now you got to... Bro, are you afraid of your own kid? Who's the father and who's the kid in this situation? Hey, bro, put your foot down and say no. Exactly. Tell him no, you're poor. <laughs> well, I don't want him to yell at me. You, who cares? You're poor now. I'll tell him no. <sighs> Fine. Richard, no. What the fuck, Dad? That you up down here in Orlando with my friends and trying to read out Disney World? Dang! <laughs> if my kid was to, if I was to ever have a kid and he was yelling at me like this, I'd slap him across the face for yelling at me with that kind of language. I'd be spinning at a 360 degree angle. For real. And you're gonna tell me no? What you want me to be poor? Does it bear? 
Oh, oh sorry. You want me to be embarrassed when I go back to school and be poor? Oh, hold on, Richard. Richard, no, you're not getting that other million dollars. I'm putting my foot down. I'm gonna increase your credit limit, okay? I love you. Bye. I put Bro. My really? Really? You're not even trying anymore. Off freaking Marvin and Jesse vibes right now. For real. I'm not gonna give him that million dollars. See, good. You told him no. What he say? He said he was fine with it. That he understood. Oh. He did not say such thing. You are such a liar, good man. You filthy little liar. Okay, well, I don't think he should have a three million dollar credit limit. I think he should lower it to like a hundred dollars. I agree, and I'll tell him that later. Okay. Uh, so, look, we're wins. saving money. Yeah, he probably won't. Already. Okay, so let's go teach you how to unclog a toilet. What? <laughs> good news, Jeffy already clogged the toilet. That's good. So oh no! Please don't tell me it's gonna be something like that, that Shrek did. Look at him what he had. If it's Taco Bell, then maybe. Yeah. So look, sometimes when you're taking a poop, it gets stuck in the toilet, and you gotta push it down with the plunger. Yeah, I'm done. What? <laughs> He's gonna pay the woman five million dollars a month in child support. Why? Because I don't want to be a king. Oh, what'd you say? You bougie ass motherfucker. So you're telling me he will he will do all the other stuff, but the thing that put him to his limit was unclogging a toilet? Really? That should be the last thing. Exactly. Man, and push my shit down the toilet with a stick. You only have to do that to get stuck. Oh, great. Yeah, I'm definitely done. So enjoy dressing like a farmer, enjoy eating Roman's worms, and enjoy Roman worms. You taught me to feel worse for poor people. Right. Oh, yeah, wait, what? Right. Yeah, he didn't even say the name right. So now when I see them on the side of the road, I'm just going to drive by them faster and enjoy the $10,000. I'm done here. Hey, well, look on the bright side. You barely taught me to be poor, but at least you still get 10000 Yeah. I said that's a win-win situation. So, Marvin, what are we going to do with the $10,000? Well, I'm going to tell you what we're not going to do. We're not going to spend it on you, motherfucker, because you're a dumbass hoe. Exactly, bro. What could have you done for me besides be on Jeffy's side when shit hits the fan? Exactly. I have no idea. Hey, Danny, I called Nickelodeon about this SpongeBob situation. And what'd they say about and? the two tongues? They said one's for the pink and one's for the steak. Uh, <laughs> 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 no. Okay, that's actually funny. Bruh. One for the pink and none in the stink. Bro, really? I haven't heard that joke in so long. What? For the stink. Oh, what? What? For the stink. I have no idea. Yeah, they told me that if I wanted to change, that I'd have to pay to have it republished. So how much would that cost? Ten thousand uh, dollars. Jeffy, no. Bro, you should have hit the money. Hey, hold on, let's hold on, let's pretend we're not gonna roll back and see that head rotation he just did. Ten thousand dollars. Oh, target spotted. Jeffy, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's funny. Anyway, that's my question. What would you buy if you were a billionaire? Uh, Simba, go first. So, honestly, I would buy a nice car, possibly a lot of Lion King merch, a mansion in LA, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, and honestly, I have no idea what I would use my my money for but i will use some of it for my friends and family who really really need it and i'll for myself i will buy myself some lion king how to train your dragon ben 10 merch pokemon stuff all that stuff and whatever makes me happy but anyway what would you buy if y'all were a billionaire but yo i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to comment like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a new video and to confirm that you really watched this video from beginning to end comment five emojis of a thumbs up and if you guys want to check out the original video the link will be down in the description below make sure you guys go and subscribe to the original sml channel and follow me on instagram which is in the link in the description below as well but until then i'll catch you on the next video peace out and have a wonderful weekend